Good afternoon and welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee and I'm so happy you could stop in today. I'd like to see. Today, for those of you that have been here before, you know that I have this bag that is full of vintage recipes from my mom and grandma. And, um, so I periodically pick out one of those recipes to do. And today I am doing one. It is from the 80s, it was real popular. It's called Calico Beans. Here's my mom's handwriting. <laughs> and my mom is 86 and she fell this year and broke her hip in spring and she's still in a long-term care facility and rehab. She hasn't progressed to where she can come home. She can't get out of bed and we keep hoping. Um, it is hard for her to be there but I love telling her about these videos and she enjoys hearing about them. This recipe was really popular back in the 80s and 90s and it's a crock pot recipe. You can also cook it in the oven on low 275 and it cooks for like four to six hours. In the crock pot, it cooks all day or you can um, cook it overnight. It's great for family reunions or parties or gatherings like that. So come along and let's make calico beans. To make the calico beans, you need one medium onion chopped up. And I have a small onion and then part of another onion. And it's one of those things that the leftovers even get a better flavor. One medium onion. Sprinkle of salt. A little bit of pepper. Get this all brown and cooked, and you can add it to the crock pot with the rest of the meat. Going to add in the meat and onions. I have drained off most of the grease. I'm just trying to one cup of ketchup. I use the name brand because it's what I had in the house, but you don't need to. Half a cup of brown sugar. Quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. dry mustard and I cannot find my dry mustard for the life of me this morning. So I'm just going to use regular yellow mustard and since it won't be as intense instead of a quarter teaspoon and I'm going to put about a teaspoon in. Then we add the beans. Two cans of pork and beans. You don't drain these, you want that sauce. One can of lima beans or butter beans. You want four different type beans. So you could use black beans or some other bean too. But lima beans that I've drained the liquid off of. Dark red kidney beans that I drained the liquid and rinsed them a little. And then last, 
Midwest. Great Northern. Drained and rinsed them some to get that excess starch off. So now we're just going to mix this all together. I'm going to start it on high to get it going because it's nine in the morning. So I'm probably going to do at least two hours on high and then switch it over to low. So I'm going to finish stirring this up and set the timer and I'll bring you back. Here it is all mixed up. I had the timer set for eight hours and starting on high and I'll switch it over after a couple of hours when it's good and heated up to low. I almost forgot an ingredient. I had it measured out. A tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using apple cider. You can use any kind. That's just what I had here. So, Well, it turned out really good. And before I had a chance to videotape the end results, the families attacked it. So this is cooled down and ready to go in the fridge. A little bit of leftovers. But it does get thicker, and it's got a sweet, tangy sauce to it. Thank you for stopping by today at Pike Creek Farm. And I will post the recipe down below from Mom's recipe card. And if you'd like vintage recipes like this or canning videos, subscribe to my channel. I'm posting them all the time. And thank you so much for stopping by.